I'm Ultima again. I'm going to talk about the advanced uh, points in Counter-Strike Source Scrims. Now, um, in the previous introduction video, I mentioned briefly about the importance of having a headset, a mic, using the radar, and firepower. So for today, I'm going to talk about headsets. In the industry today, we have many brands that produce headsets for gaming. Uh, SteelSeries, Barracuda, Sennheiser, Tektronix, Microsoft, and so on. The reason why you need to get a headset or earpiece is because, um, as I mentioned earlier, these things actually help you distinctively differentiate the footstep sounds made in the right source. Now, at a competitive level, hearing these footsteps are very important. I have known people and friends who have actually used earpieces. What they usually do is that they actually set the sound quality in Counter-Strike source to low and hence uh, actually add more treble to the footstep sounds when you're using an earpiece. The problem with using this is that you would have to boost up the volume quite a bit and might be you know, bad for your ears. Especially so because earpieces uh, tend to emphasize and bring out more treble in sounds. Now, headsets that actually cover your ears, somehow they bring out the more bassy sounds of uh, Counter-Strike source. Let me talk about why these kind of headsets are useful when you're playing at a arena or the competition. The environment and the background noise is going to be very loud and uh, having a headset that actually covers the entire ear blocks out a, a lot of external sound so actually getting a headset to cover your entire ear does provide some kind of noise cancellation now another thing to note about is the mic another point is that you might want to consider getting a headset with a USB plug-in thing but the real main difference is this if you go to different computers and you plug in using this uh, audio jacks uh, you're actually using the sound card in that computer to process the sound information in the game now every computer has a different sound card and hence the sound that you get might be actually very different. To avoid this problem, using a USB sound card will actually eliminate it. All the sound information will be processed in the same sound card that you will be using at home or anywhere. Every sound that you hear from any computer will be the same, regardless of the computer sound card in the computer. Sometimes they actually play back what you say into the mic. You can actually hear your, your own voice output through your own headset. Now this can be actually quite distracting and might actually muffle a lot of sounds. So um, let me show you a way of how to actually turn that function off. Go to control panel and that will bring you to the screen. Now go to sound and audio devices and you'll see a pop-up. Now go to, after you have your USB plugged in, you should get something like this, USB PNP or just USB-C media device. Now go to voice and after that go to, yes, voice recording, select the volume, it will open a small window. Over here select advanced, now you will see this little box here that says AGC. Uncheck this, make sure it's unchecked, select closed, um, you know, closed thing, click on OK and after that you shouldn't have any more of your sound coming through your head so headphones. Uh, some people have their volume too low, so they can't really hear or listen to footsteps. Some have it too loud. So what is the actual distance or gauge um, you know, to listen to the maximum range of footsteps? Now, uh, one way you can do this is simply to create a server with bots. Now let me show you what exactly I'm going to do. So uh, as you can see, um, my, my model is already set to our draw models too. But, what, but before that, what you will need to type is sv underscore sheets 1 and then I'll draw other models uh, 2. Now if, if, I, if I select 1, you, get, you see that everything comes back to normal. If I select 2, you can see everything is transparent. After that, you need to go to the CD base, the stacking create corner and on dust 2. Of course, you play as counter terrorist in this instance and uh, just add a lot of bots if you can. And of course, uh, just stack at the corner and hope that bots would actually travel to catwalk. Now, um, at catwalk, at the corner where they start to appear, you should be able to hear them uh, very vividly on your headset. If you don't, you just have to increase the volume loud enough so that you can listen to it. Now, how it would actually sound like is like that. And here you can actually see when they start to appear and when they start to when you can start to listen to their footsteps. Now this method may not be a foolproof method, but it actually gets the job done. Uh, it's a very important step for getting to know how loud your headset should be. 